Roadhouse is the newest movie to be remade, and boy does it do an excellent job. Let's be real, the original was never an amazing movie, and it was just a decent one. Patrick Swayze did a good job, but it was filled with cheesy action, questionable acting, and a pointless love story. Everywhere you look online, the original movie doesn't have the best rating ever either. The new one, on the other hand, took everything about the original and made it 10 times better. We follow Dalton, who's an ex-UFC fighter, who is making chump change on a bunch of backyard fights when he is approached by Frankie to be a bouncer at her roadhouse. She says it attracts the wrong kind of crowd and she needs help cleaning it up and she will pay some big bucks. Obviously, the villain is a rich a-hole named Ben Braddett who wants to take over the keys and make a resort where the roadhouse is. So he sends a lot of his goons there to terrorize it so they leave. Pretty simple plot, but it keeps you engaged for the two hour runtime. This is the type of movie I really wish I got to see in theaters. Jake Gyllenhaal does a good job at playing doll and he has the right amount of humor but this anger that lurks within him. Speaking of humor, this movie does have quite a bit of it and it's done perfectly without it being annoying. There's also a character named Mo who's a part of the biker gang and he's played by Arturo Castro and he's actually really funny in this. There's also a really funny scene with Dalton where he warns the bikers to leave or they're gonna get hurt and then he just starts slapping him which is hilarious and then they don't give up so he beats their ass and it was a hilarious scene. On top of that, then he drives them to the hospital which was really funny. I also really like the music in this. We get a lot of live bands in this that are playing all these covers and stuff and it really fits the tone of the roadhouse. They don't really focus too much on the romance subplot like they do in the original movie which I really like. Like he sort of has this flirty fling with Ellie but it never gets anywhere serious and it makes a lot of sense for his character and his past. I also really like the scene where Brandon goes to talk to Dalton about his UFC fight and saying, you won the fight, why don't you just stop? Which is not just referring to his UFC fight, but also the fight that he's having with him and his goons. Conor McGregor playing Knox in this was really fun. Sure, he's not the best actor ever, but he does a good job playing this crazy dude and his action scenes were intense and a ton of fun. Speaking of action, this movie had a lot of good fight and action scenes. Really intense with the choreography and how they filmed it. Also some really good stunt work with how these guys fell and took some hits. The fights between Dawn and Knox were really good, especially the one at the end of the movie. A few negatives to this movie, there was some weird editing choices with some weird speed ramping and CGI that they used, but it only really happens a couple times, but it was kind of weird. Also, the sheriff character was just kind of stereotypical and he really didn't do much to the story, so he was kind of pointless. Besides that, this movie was a ton of fun and I really enjoyed it. This is why I give Roadhouse an 8.5 out of 10. If you guys like this review, hit that like button. If you guys want to see more, hit that follow button. And as always, thanks for watching.